everyone, we're back. Feels like crap. Uh. Oh, that's right. We gotta go get Rex. We gotta go get Rex. I almost forgot about that, Jesus. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. There are many points of... On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar... I want to know more about Citadel security. If you wish to learn more, exit... Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy... To the Citadel. Welcome to Presidium Tour. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Try to map.
God damn it. Welcome to the staff in the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions. Several That's all for now. Thank you for the using wrong a video. Way. Have a pleasant day. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What is this place? This is the Presidium, more specifically. If you have more questions, please access Avena. What's that? Oh, Avena is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Me too. Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. I know where he's at. Back to my car. Sorry about this. It's been a while since I said, like I said, it's been, it's been a couple of years since I played Mass Effect.
Motherfucker. Of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human. stops in for a few games of Quasar. The fuck is he? Who the fuck am I? A 
Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. Finally. So, Garrus, any regrets about leaving Seaside? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats Seasec. True enough. I'd rather be fighting than trusted to somebody else. Finally, fucking Christ. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. I like this guy, he's cool. Go on, get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a say. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. All right, so... I'm gonna hold on to them for now, but I want. This is a team I always use. Used for this mission whenever I, whenever I did my playthroughs on PS3. I always use Garrus and Rex. This part. You know I love Ashley. Nah. Uh, uh, okay. Shit. Fuck. I'm going the wrong way. We get out of here. God, I hate my haircut. Fucking mohawk. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Wow, fuck.
Oh, place is a disaster. Hope they have Yelp up here. I'm writing a review. Right there, don't come in warehouse. Workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like fist anyway. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Yeah, I just wanted to talk about that in Mass Effect 2 now. Omni jail thingy. I surrender. Where's the quarry? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the shadow broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. 
That quarrying's dead if we don't go now. Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Tyler. Couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. I can't see your face. We can take you to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. I could see her face almost. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars. Only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. 
How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. But the Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tolly. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Now yeah, we just sleep for a Thanks. You won't regret this. Now we wait for another woman. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. This part, I need her. Hey, Garrus. God damn, I wish you could have more than three, two people on your team. Because we're gonna need her. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat.
Where can I find the Sasari Consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Dan. <laughs> The council favors your species like greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the council long before our species will. Why aren't the Volus or Elcor part of the council? All species must prove themselves before they join the council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus ambassador. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah, this talk is wasted on the humans. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I have requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. Well, I didn't think I'd see that. Oh, earlier I was on Twitter scrolling through it for about five minutes to get the hell out of there. Oh, I saw Jennifer Lawrence in that movie, No Hard Feelings. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Yes, Your yes. activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Is this what I'm out there fighting for? A government that steals the bodies of its honored dead? All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Um, 
watch out for a shit street. I like the Hall Notes song. Oh, Oaks and Hall. Oaks and Hall! Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Fine, I can use that. going on over there real quick. Oh, uh, here's a good word of bullshit to you. Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name, and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation, as much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... Mm, mm, three or four months. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. I know what's going on. Yes. <laughs> it appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Tell me about this problem you're having. 
I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. I'm a little nervous. That's understandable. Many are a little unsure of this whole security first thing. What the fuck did I just read? I went fairly often, but it's still dark on Where's the bleach? Commander! What do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? Because she rejected me! ME! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. Is she really worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman I want. It's, it's her, and her alone. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Enjoy your drink, General. Yeah... Okay. We can't just leave him like this. <laughs> Don't waste your time, kid. Run away now, while you still can. You need to start acting like a General if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a General, and what did it get me? Huh? No. Those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired... Lonely, worn-out soldier. Do you really want to be remembered this way? No, I'd rather not be remembered at all. But I see your point. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It damn well couldn't hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. She won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. 
I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. What the fuck is... Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking him to, and where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. How many set ups do we gonna do? I don't know. I'm drunk. Uh -uh. See you now. Sorry, last one. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving, I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way... Here, there should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. The Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I'm... Anxious request. Please, human. If you will excuse me, I'm... I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth.
Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding. A wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Alcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Hmm. Hmm. So long, Commander. I can offer you nothing more at this time. Now I'm in here, but I'll be back. I'm gonna go for a smoke.